Welcome back to Drinkers of a Distinction. How the fuck are you going? <laughs> Hopefully you're going well. So, yeah, I thought in fairness, I'd give the old Carlton Black a crack. I paid 20 bucks for six beers, 1.3 standard drinks. So that's got to be about, what, 4.3? Oh, it's close, 4.4%. Ooh. Smells rich. Ooh. Now, it's a dark ale. It's not a porter. So, the last dark ale I had was Cooper's. Oh, it's a no that's a nice looking drop. Not overly fizzy. Not a bad thing. Mmm. Smells nice and rich. Oh, that's nice. For the percentage, they've done considerably well. Yeah, it's not really comparable to the big shed, you know, dessert stout, because it was a... Yeah, it's a stout. It's a completely different style. But there are similarities. Very slight similarities, but yeah, it's really nice. Nice and sweet, nice and malty. It's not bitter, it's not dry. Maybe slight dryness on the back end. But here's the thing. If someone had said to me, oh, what would you recommend more? Cooper's or this? Well, they're pretty much the same. And I think that's one of the redeeming qualities about Australian beer. You know, it, it's fairly easy to find something that you like. But some people are diehard Carlton, some people are diehard Coopers. Depends on where you're born. If you're born in South Australia and that's what you grew up with, chances are you'll lean more toward Coopers. But no, I would put the Coopers Dark Ale and the Carlton next to each other any day of the week. Yeah, malty, roasted. Yeah, there's not, not really much else to say about it. They do have a description, so. Carlton Black is a traditional top fermented ale using old style yeast, origins dating back to 1835. The drum roasted malt is the secret behind the inviting mocha aroma. I'm not really getting that. I'm sure it's there, but the coffee's not really up front. So the balance is good. The full bodied flavor and distinctive deep ruby tint, the fruity ale flavor, flavors complement the pride of Ringwood hopping, which makes Carlton Black rich and easy to drink. They're, they're fucking not wrong. It is rich. And easy to drink. Yeah, good aftertaste too. So I would almost suggest, like, if you're a dark beer virgin, you know, you've got mates that have, you know, prompt you every season, oh, you got to try some dark beer, you got to, and you're a bit afraid, fucking jump in, jump in, jump in. It's really easy drinking. It's not super rich. It's not super bitey. It's very well balanced. No, congratulations to fucking Carlton, mate. I am not a hater. I like what I like, like I've said many times. And that, I fucking like. It's beautiful. You don't need to be spending 50-odd dollars on seven or eight beers. That's why I don't do it very often. You don't need to. But, like I say, to me, I don't give a fuck about the money. <laughs> if I cared about the money, I'd be like a little golem. Money. I'd be trying to save every cent. <laughs> that ain't living. That ain't living. Anyway, I'm not here to preach. So just in case you forgot, Carlton Black, get amongst it. 
If you like dark beer, you'll you'll fucking love it. You've probably already had it. I'm probably catching up because I'm a little bit slow. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> I'm sure I've got some washing to put away. <laughs> it's the fucking weekend. Who cares? <laughs> all right, stay distinctive. Fucking look after yourselves and look after each other and all that good stuff. And uh, I'll see you soon. All right? All right. Catches. <laughs>